One of the key functions in Overture customer care is creating and completing work orders so that changes can be made to subscribers. Today we're going to walk through that process in the new Overture Customer Care GUI so that you can see the differences and enhancements between this GUI and the previous Triad client. First, we're going to search for the subscriber that needs to be updated. Highlight the subscriber and click Select. Now I'm going to the Work Orders tab where I'll click New. And select new service. We already have a default task added, but I could add another task if more time needed to be spent on this work order. I'm going to go to the subscriber tab and enable service. Now I'll add services to the work order. Highlight the service you want to add to the subscriber's account and use the single right-facing arrow to move it over or simply double-click as I am doing here. Now I'm going to add a package to the subscriber's account and you'll see I'm even changing the default content by editing and moving services to the appropriate columns. Then I'm clicking close. When all of the services that I want have been added, I'll click save and close out of the service edit window. I'll go to the devices tab and hit assign to add an existing device in the system. I know that I want type media room that the device ID has a 12 at the end. So here I find my device that I wanted to add. I could add multiple by selecting multiple checkboxes. I just want the one so I'm going to hit select can change the status. And here my device shows up in pending changes. Any devices already on the account would be shown here. Next, I'll go to the phone lines tab and add a phone number to the subscriber. You can either type in a full directory number or perform a search for an existing phone number in the system. Double click to select the phone number and then say edit to enable your service and configure the phone line. And then save. If you need to add any services to the phone line, you can do that on the services tab. Add a one-time charge like an install fee or a truck roll. You can change the units and save. Back on the basics tab, you can enter any kind of commentary that you need. And save. Then you can schedule your work order. Any available worker pools will show up in the drop down. On the right, there's a week per page. You'll see how many slots are available for that week, and you can scroll down to choose the slot that you want. When you click, you'll see that the time slot and duration fill in over here. If you want to do a different time slot, you can just click again and you'll see that change. Click Save and Close. Once the work order is scheduled, you can close out and come back later to complete it when the work has been done.